can see Fat Earl still with us. Head like a steel plate, man. So we struck a deal with American Mystery Basement. Oh man, let me, let me tell you a story. Uh, first off, fans, don't worry. I'm perfectly fine. Um, I, I know it looked like he was really going to town on me, but honestly, between you and me, he hits a little bit like a pussy. God, I'm sitting right here. It, oh no, I mean, it's not, it's nothing personal. I, I would write it off to your parents, probably didn't put you in a lot of sports. Um, so you probably like, did you, I, I imagine you're probably more like at home with a wiffle ball bat than like a, re a real, like, you know, something with some weight. Well, if you must know, I was, uh, got an early start with a microphone so I could get into, uh, the serious business of podcasting, obviously. Jam, where is your microphone at? Is it still on the ground? Did you ever turn that off? Because that's... You might want to look into that. That's like, is that like one of those battery-powered microphones? Oh, Mr. Microphone! Hey, I'll come back to pick you up later, you slut! Remember that, remember that commercial? I actually do remember that commercial. Um, that commercial, oddly enough, is uh, what inspired me to uh, get into podcasting. Yeah, about that. So let's get back on the subject um, about how I'm still alive and stuff and why you didn't kill me. Right, well, you've got a really hard head. Well, okay, granted, I won't take any offense to that, although I could, but, uh, no, you see, uh, the people on the American Mystery Basement, it's like, they were going to, it's like him and his cohorts, they're like, oh, man, this dude is still alive, so we got to go and get a gun, and I was, see, I was just going to lay there and just kind of let all this play out until they wandered off, but I was like, no, dude, it, there are too many background checks, and they're going to look into it and probably find some pornography on your computer. So you don't, you don't need all that. And then the loveliest lady, your mother, said, well, I won't say your name, but, 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 but she said, leave this good man alive. And I smell something delicious. It's like she was, it was like heaven in my nostrils. And this woman is wonderful. She was like, oh, come on into the kitchen. So she and I started talking shop and stuff. So, uh. Yes. This is going to work. You're going to really need to... Remember we talked about staying on target and staying on topic? Uh, that's the whole problem with this, these crazy YouTube shows. and They're all over the place. People tune into the podcast for a specific thing. They want to hear about that specific thing. And I, I, I'm taking your advice and your word that this, this sports thing is going to be... Well, I don't think there's any market for it. I don't think people are going to give a crap about the sports game. But I'll take your word for it. But, but let's, let's, uh, let's stick to the topic there, uh, well, uh, it's about the wrench. Okay, sir. Um, yeah, fans. So you know, it's like uh, fourth and F. It's on hiatus. It comes, it goes. I mean, who that shit knows, right? Some weeks there's a show. Some weeks someone gets the shits, and then they can't show up. So we're like, hey, you know what? The Super Bowl this weekend. Oh, you know what this is like? This is like uh, like a Super Bowl like halftime show. It's like whenever people want to take like a shit break or watch those puppies like having the sex on the one the animal planets or uh, kitten bowls. If they could turn this on, this would be over like 10, 15 minutes, 60 tops, kittens. 60 minutes top. Kittens. Now there's there's a topic we're podcasting about. No, no, you're right. No one wants to talk about the Super Bowl, like the biggest show of the year of the television. I mean, no, yeah, kittens are great to talk about on podcast. Really good. Yeah, look into that. Um, but today we are going to talk about the Super Bowl. Super Bowl number 50. Uh, you know, between the Carolina Panthers and the Denver Broncos. Panthers and Broncos, huh? Yeah, yes, Panthers and Broncos. Oh, I forgot, you don't watch... Uh, Sports, you uh, what, what's your podcast about? Didn't you say it was like quilts? Did you do some quilting? We, we do some uh, some very good work and very um, very groundbreaking work in quilting podcasting, actually. I can only imagine the fascination people have of you describing needlework. Oh man, that's good stuff. I mean, like it goes in, it comes out, it goes in, it comes out, it goes in. Wait, 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 wait for it. It comes right back out. They know it's good stuff. Huh? I now mean, it's good. Now you're getting it. Now you're getting it. That's exactly right. Yeah, nobody wants to like hear about guys clashing in helmets and armor and beating the piss out of each other. Yeah, we're gonna talk about it anyway, because that's um, because you're telling me it's gonna be good. So. Yes, uh, uh, Phantom, uh, uh, P P O O, Phantom of the Opera, right? That's what you kind of got going on there, kind of Phantom of the Opera thing. If we threw that mask off, would you be, like, horribly scarred? <laughs> I 
No more than you, Fat Earl. No more than you. Oh, I mean, trust me, this whole uh, ordeal has me emotionally scarred. But, uh, anyways, so, uh, yes, this Super Bowl. So, uh, fans, there's a lot of weirdness going on around the Super Bowl this year. There's this crazy cornerback uh, for the Panthers named Josh Norman. And uh, he's apparently like some ultimate warrior fan. Uh, I don't know if he's going to have like a heart attack out there on the field. I mean, we would certainly hope not. I, I mean, that's that would be terrible. But uh, uh, but apparently, uh, you know, he, he wears an imaginary Batman utility belt. Oh, I'm sorry, let me stop you there. Um, an imaginary Batman utility belt. Yes, you see, imaginary isn't real, much like your podcasting audience. So, um, but he wears that, um, I guess he pulls out some weed or, ow, what the hell is wrong with you, man? I'm just keeping you in check. Yeah, could you keep me in check by maybe uh, mild suggestions and not being hit in the back of the head with uh, a freaking uh, piece of plumbing? Here's a mild suggestion. Uh, don't be insulting our fan base. There's a mild suggestion for you. Or you can hit with a wrench. Now, let's clarify. Do you mean your fan base? Or do you mean the A and B fan base? Because I love the A and B, whereas your fan base, I think the last time I checked, was some hobo passed out an alley with an earbud hanging out of his ear. Well, considering you guys couldn't even get 30 viewers to save your life, I don't know what fan base you're talking about. I'm talking about our legions of loyal quilters and needlepoint and cross-stitchers of uh, podcasting subscribers. That's what I'm talking about. I, I would go so far as to say there might have been some conspiracy... I mean, I don't want to start dropping Area 51 out here or anything, but it just seemed very suspect. Oh, here's some people, and then they left, and here's some people. And did you see all that matrixing and the stuff that was breaking down and they were doing the robot? What the hell was going on on that show? I don't ever know what the hell's going on on that show. Oh, thank you for admitting that you watch. So, uh, you know, have you subscribed yet? Of course I have not subscribed. Well, that is a good segue to the American Mystery Basement fans. If you're watching this and you're loaded and the Super Bowl is about to come on, just hit that subscribe button right below. Just hit that. Hit it like you're hitting your wife later on tonight. Oh, I mean, I mean, no, 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 not beating, but I mean with like the the good time with the sexy time. Bow chicka bow bow. Oh 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 yeah, you know what my what what's up, Phantom? Stay on guard. Oh yes, uh, because uh, sports. sports and sex never go hand in hand. You're absolutely right. So, yeah, so this Josh Norman, and apparently he did, like, some interview with the wrestling mask. That's insane. People put on masks or just out their damn minds. They're terribly comfortable. Midnight as the children. No, that's not from Phantom, is it? Sing, sing me a few bars from the Phantom of the Opera. What is that? That's, uh, yo, uh, the chicks and ducks and the geese, but the scurry when I take you. Is that? No, that's, that's, uh, that's the Oklahoma. Right? Ow! What the hell is wrong with you? I'm trying to bring, bring in some, like, some class, maybe a little, little, maybe some culture into this crappy show. Okay, fine. Super Bowl. So, uh, the, the, ooh, the halftime. Everyone enjoys the halftime on the Super Bowl. Uh, they're going to be Lady Gaga, and they're going to be some Coldplay. Uh, and then, uh, uh, you know, I think she's doing the national anthem, so there might be some titties. Like, you remember a few years ago, Janet Jackson popped out some titties. Oh, that was the Super Bowl. But that happened. Um, yeah, what, do you think it was on a podcast? <laughs> I mean, come on, dude. What's wrong with you? Uh, we, we did a podcast about it. Oh, yeah. No, I, no, hey. If I know anything, it's that people love hearing descriptions of nudity. Nipple. There, it, yo, it is no... There is nothing more exciting than hearing you describe new to the insects. Yeah, that's not visual at all. But a lot, a lot of, a lot of listeners, did they tune in to hear you describe nipples? Of course, the um, Nipplegate was one of our uh, most popular podcasts today. And, and how many people tuned in for that magic? Uh, more than uh, tuned in to save your sarcasm. Okay, if you, okay, if you take out family and friends, how many tuned in? Uh. Okay, so anyways, uh, back to the Super Bowl. Uh, Madden, he has made his prediction, Carolina Panthers. Of course, everyone knows John Madden is 612 years old. Uh, he's been in football for probably the better part of five to seven centuries. Uh, and he, but he's been uh, you know, called like the last nine of 12. Now, this is interesting because, you see, the Super Bowl is every year. And he's been successful the last nine of 12. Well, 
what the hell happened to all the years before that? I mean, his ass was coaching the Raiders in the 70s. So it seems like what they like to do is just look at a very small sample and that makes it look like he really knows what the hell he's talking about. Like what? Mr. Thomas, only in reverse. Good, interesting podcast on Mr. Thomas, actually. A couple weeks ago. Fascinating stuff. Fascinating. Yes, did he predict that your ass would be on YouTube trying to get viewers for your terrible podcast? Was that a prediction? Got a wrench. Don't forget. Oh, yes, that's right. God God forbid you should smack me in the head again and make me forget this freaking nightmare. Anyways, so, uh, yeah, so he picks the Carolina Panthers, I guess, between, you know, uh, inebriation and being, a, you know, and, you know, all the hookers that he must be into now. I don't know. John Madden seemed like a good guy, though. He got the video games. Uh, it's like whenever he hates somebody, he puts them on the cover and they break their leg or some shit like that. So that's wild. That's crazy. So anyways, uh, predictions for the Super Bowl. You're saying, Fat Earl, who are you predicting for the Super Bowl? Well, well listen in. It's the, you know, this is like, like you know, secret, top secret. And it, since you're probably watching this during halftime, even better. My prediction for the Super Bowl, Tsunami. A da goddamn huge ass tsunami is probably just going to wash right into the stadium and kill everybody. Now, Fat Earl, he's not saying he wants that to happen. He's just saying that all likelihood, they've been predicting like, like you know, like tsunamis and hurricanes and tornadoes like forever for the West Coast. And uh, that, that's where it's at, like the West Coast. Yeah, let's just say it's the West Coast. What are patterns? What are patterns? Damn, uh, there's a fascinating podcasting subject. That's right, Phantom. That's very good. Weather does have a lot to do with tsunamis. Oh, my Christ. It's like I'm stuck in kindergarten. Anyways, uh, yes, so my well, Fat Earl's prediction is is a huge uh, mother of freaking tsunami is going to wash in and take out both teams. So, uh, overall, I guess uh, tsunami uh, 37 points, uh, Broncos 20, and uh, pa Panthers 18. Tsunami, though, takes it home. You heard it here first. But I know it's good that you're on YouTube now. It's like uh, you're getting out there and it's like, you know, I mean, yes, you're still technically a felon and you've kidnapped me and you're holding me against my will. But uh, I appreciate that you didn't even bother trying to wrap up my arms this time because that was a joke. That was like, seriously, what the hell were you thinking? But uh, we'll, we'll, we'll work on that. Yeah, look. I know, talking to your mom, she's a very sweet lady, we had some, we had some chamomile tea the other night, and uh, she rubbed my feet, and because I, I got the bunions, oh man, it hurts, oh. let me tell you something, A and B, they don't let up, man, I mean, it's like, the only thing missing off those sons of bitches are swastikas, so, ow, dude, I'm just trying to tell you, look, I know that you don't got a father figure around, that's probably what led to you sitting here in your garage with this mask and me, but we're going to we're going to work some things out. I'm going to teach you how to tie some knots. I'm going to teach you how to make. Oh uh, yes, knots. Knot tying would be a fabulous topic for our next podcast. Yeah, I'm going to teach you how to use that wrench to like uh, fix the leaky faucet in your in your kitchen. Uh, because obviously your your mom she's kind of upset about that. So you know this what, all this is off camera stuff. Uh, fans, thank you for tuning in to the pissy. Super Bowl spectacular. He was going to spray paint that back there and use an eye, but I said, you know, too much, too much racism. I mean, this already people are probably thinking this is not my real voice, but uh, no, it's totally my real voice, fans. Thank you very much for your concerns. Uh, thank you for your letters and cards. Uh, you know, checking in on me. I'm fine. His mother is a wonderful cook. Um, you know, so we're we're working on uh, getting. Uh, I, I, no, 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 that was, that was, I was showing how to like clean the oven. Have you never seen cleaning the oven? You clean the top of the oven like that. Let me show you again. It's like right there, back and forth, side to side, in and out. That's how you clean the oven with your mom. But anyway, ow, you son. Oh, hey, well, it's time to go, fans. Plus, uh, that one almost took me out. So, uh, thank you for watching. Um, super old predictions, leave them down in the comments, like, subscribe, share. If you want to see more of Fat Earl and Pissy Phantom, you know, just let us know. And, and we'll, we'll come back on maybe if A and B let, let us. And uh, do, do you got anything you want to say to the fans? Podcasting is still sexy, yo. That, that's, that's, thank you.
beautiful and bust in the 1992 rapper pose. That's awesome. People totally get that. They don't think you're old as shit. Okay, fans. Good night. And, uh, you know, drive safely. Or if you're drunk, don't drive at all. Just, you know, find a place to stay.